My name is Jeff Smith. I'm the science director at Hawkwatch International. And uh, this particular site, the Goshoot Mountains, uh, right on the edge of the Great Salt Desert on the Utah-Nevada border is one of our premier hawk migration study sites, um, primarily because of the concentration of raptors that occur here. The most uh, abundant species here uh, are four species, the sharp shin hawk, the cooper's hawk, which are close cousins in the occipital world, uh, the red-tailed hawk, and the American kestrel. Those four species comprise something on the order of 50 to 60 percent of the birds that we see here in a given fall season. But then we also have good numbers of golden eagles, for example, uh, things like ospreys, northern harriers, uh, the larger exhibitor to the northern goshawk, uh, prairie falcons, peregrine falcons, merlins. The, the Goshi Mountains is one of 12 sites where we do long-term monitoring of raptor migrations. So we also are involved in a variety of other things here too, like uh, banding to, and satellite tracking to learn about the migration geography of the species we study, to learn about the populations that we, we monitor. Certainly habitat change, habitat loss, habitat degradation are a major threat to all manner of wildlife and there certainly are uh, numerous examples where many of the raptor species we study have been influenced by that. Uh, Long-term monitoring does not reveal uh, exciting results every year. It takes a long time, decades, to come up with good solid information about what's going on with population trends. We're now just getting to that point. So having resources to maintain that long-term consistency of our monitoring efforts is a constant battle. So it's very important as a society and as a world population that we focus attention on long-term monitoring in order to be able to document some of these significant long-term changes that are happening that in many cases humans are influencing but also may be influenced by other you know, uh, factors out of our control but we need to understand the relationships between those influences in order to better understand how we can you know, help ameliorate some of the problems or figure out what's going on more, more effectively.